And if you've ever tried to start a diesel engine in the cold, when they are cold, they're very hard to start. So if you give this system an hour or so to preheat the block and preheat the heads and everything on your engine and get it, get it warm, it will start a lot easier. So that's one thing you can do. Uh, also, someone asked me, how would you go about heating hot water, potable water, water to wash your hands or to, for instance, someone asked me, how would I use one of these to heat the water on a food truck? Okay, these heaters are not powerful enough to put cold water in one end and get hot water out the other. It takes too many passes. They're just too slow for that. But if you, if you had a tank, now if you don't know how to weld, that's fine. You can buy aluminum air tanks. And on my ambulance build, I had a six gallon aluminum hot dog style air tank. And you're thinking, why would you use an air tank? Well, because it already had six half inch ports welded into that tank and I didn't have to weld any in. I, I didn't have a shop at the time. I didn't have the capacity to weld, weld bungs for hose barbs. So that's an option. You could do a six gallon tank. Once again, this will heat up the fluid in that tank. And then under your sink, uh, near your point of use, you could have a plate heat exchanger like this. And you could, when you're ready, so let's, you're getting ready to, to serve some people some wonderful food out of your food truck, Go ahead and fire up your diesel heater, get your fluid warm up while you got your grill going, everything's starting to get warmed up. And then when you're ready, you can have a switch mounted on the wall right by your sink. Turn that switch on, that will start your pump, which will start cycling the hot fluid through your plate heat exchanger. And on this side, you will have your water system, cold water in, hot water out. And if you size your plate heat exchanger appropriately, you should have instant hot water at the source, at your sink. Now, what you have to remember is this, is this is not super powerful or super fast, meaning that in theory, if you ran a lot of hot water through this system, you could pull most of the heat stored in your heat battery or your tank. So you just have to be careful